I got Cheetos. So everywhere, like Cheetos is my favorite snack in Chile. Like I grew up with these, right? But they taste different everywhere. So I'm gonna try them once here and I hope that they're good. Okay, they kind of smell, they smell better than the ones in the United States. I've tried Korean ones. They're fantastic, they're so good. They're like this kind of, they low key taste like chicken noodle soup. Kind of like the ramen packet. The Chilean ones will always be my top one. And the United States ones, they suck because the cheddar flavor is so nasty to me. Like the fake one, I hate it. They're like uh, puffs, so. Mm. These taste like los souffles. In Chile, we have, they're literally like this size, like, look like a little fatter, and they taste exactly like this. This doesn't even taste like cheese. I literally just saw a commercial for them. Pelotazos. Mmm. It's still sabor queso, but it's like, I don't know. They're like little balls. Mmm. These also taste like a Chilean snack. They have like a ham taste. This tastes just like it. Mmm. You will find some books to leave your things. We will shut the door. You will find aprons to put on. And then we will wash the hands. Because we are a chef. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the army, to the fire army. This is a masterclass. This is a masterclass. You have to work. We're going to do nothing. You know, the fire, meat fire, obviously, need meat. In it, we're gonna mm -hmm. use three different kinds of meat. Chicken, the white meat, rabbit, the pink meat. What is the third one? Here, <laughs> dummy, dummy, land snails. <laughs> Talking about snails. these, snails. land snails. Valencian paella, we're gonna use rosemary. We have plenty in Spain. <laughs> paella, in Valencian language, means pan. Boom, video. Oh. So any pan for us is called paella. This is a paella, and that is a paella. Okay. Eh? We like to confuse people. That's why we, we like things like that. Today, we're gonna, you're gonna cook a paella into a paella. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Salud. 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 So I guess that you're hungry, right? Oh. So my main host has been better. class I just really want some ice cream I haven't had ice cream here so um, getting ready to go I need to change the battery because it died while we were cooking look at this new tote bag I got I love it oh, we are gonna go get some ice cream all right my guys there are some ladies next to me staring at me. 
We no longer get embarrassed. So they can enjoy the pretty thing. So dinner was a bit of a failed mission. I went out way too late. Um, I think I went outside at like 11.10. I just walked for like 30 minutes trying to find a spot. There were other places, but I had paella today. I don't feel like eating it again. I don't know. I hear it's good, so... I'm gonna just try it, cause why not? It came in a little box, like a little pizza box. I don't know, but I'm hungry and honestly, I don't care. Taco Bell haul. It comes with nachos. That's cool. And I also got a taco, like a regular schmegular one. Mmm. One thing that I've enjoyed so much since being here is the fact that okay i it's safe and stuff and like i can literally walk around right now and i just know that nothing's gonna happen to me and everyone like kind of minds their business and that alone is so fucking cool because i can't really do that in la especially downtown I, I obviously try not to get home like super late and stuff obviously i'm a tough girl so i'm gonna still walk around it's just so cool that here like it's fucking crazy anyway that's not that was not the point that i feel like the schedule here is so much more my speed like the dinners like later dinners over here and how they eat and stuff just feels more natural to me than the united states and so i was saying how like dinners over there it's at like 5 p.m and to me that is just way too fucking early because i look you be having lunch at like three four so I'm not hungry at five. I'm hungry at like seven or eight. They open restaurants here back up at eight or seven. Some stay open throughout the day, obviously. But that's like around their dinner time. So today in my paella class, I was talking to all my new friends and they're all from the States. So um, they were saying how they eat dinner here so late. And I was like, I don't think they eat late. I mean, the States eat very early. They're like, yeah, that's true, that's true. And I was just kind of, you know, thinking about that. And I think that's one thing that I really enjoyed is that I can get ready at like 9.30, almost 10, go to a restaurant, get a full meal, come back, ready to go to sleep. So that's been really cool. I also, on the flip side, I've really enjoyed my life outside of work too. I mean, you tend to do that when you travel anyway, but I need to learn how to implement that when I get back home because I feel like when I get back to LA, I'm, I've been doing pretty well as far as like making sure I have time for hobbies and like time for myself. Here, it was just like on a whole nother level. Like I just want to make sure I'm doing that too because I don't want to, you know, just hustle all the time and like secure the bag and like do all these things that like ultimately don't really matter. And obviously over there, money does matter. My sanity comes first. I'm gonna have my little journaling sesh because I actually totally forgot. Like when I remembered to journal last night, I was just like, mm -mm -mm. no, no vibes. So, wine. Yeah, I don't know if I showed you all already, but this is when I went to the silent disco at the bar crawl that we had. Very cute. Also, I should have brought like some type of tape. I don't know, but I'm keeping like little things from here that I wanna, I don't know, put somewhere. But it's hard to do it if it doesn't have a fucking, if I don't have tape, you know? Oh my God. Not me literally finding tape. You ask and you shall receive, said the universe. Put some tape here and let's see. Blah, blah, blah. Oh. Boop. Dude. There. Totally okay. I'm also watching Indian matchmaking. I love this show. It's so good. I just love love. Today, I want to go to La Ciudad de Artes y Ciencias. So I had um. <laughs> Since I got sunburned, 
my scalp also got sunburned. It's been like peeling off a little bit, so it looks like I have dandruff. Also tomorrow, I go to the new Airbnb. I almost wish, god damn. I almost wish I didn't have to do that because the stairs here already kill me every single day. But having to lug those suitcases downstairs, like it just doesn't seem like the best plan, but it is too late. The host has people coming in like literally the same day, so I leave tomorrow morning at like 9 a.m. So today is kind of like my last full day in this Airbnb, and then I get to have another adventure in a different one. Okay, you think that this was such a great idea that like these three necklaces are linked right here. This is a magnet and okay, great. You put it on though, everything gets tangled anyway in the back because look at all the chains that it has. Like it has like a lot of extra chain. And then the magnet also attacks my little hairs. Okay, so I have some exciting news. I was walking around. I ran into the waitress that served me like a couple days ago and she was super nice, she's Italian. And we talked a bunch, like she was just really cool. So I run into her, right? And she's like, oh, I was wondering if that was you. And I said, yeah, it is me. And so we talked a little bit. She was like, how long are you staying in Valencia? And I said, I'm staying until like May 2nd because I'm going to Barcelona and then I'm going to Vallarta. And she was like, oh, okay, be careful in uh, Barcelona, blah, blah. And I was like, I know, I know, that's where we're all going for two days. I was like, I look, you want to stay here? Like, and she was like, well, well, like, hit me up on Instagram. Like, we can figure out how we can hang out. And she was like, actually, there's a birthday party on Saturday. And I was like, ooh, I was like, whose birthday is it? And she was like, oh, it's like, he's, his birthday is actually the 30th. And I was like, well, my birthday is actually the 29th. So I didn't have plans for my birthday, so now I do. I'm going to the City of Arts and Sciences. So I'm excited for that. I haven't been, it's like one of the biggest things to do here, so yeah, and it's hot out today, it's hot. I definitely should be at the beach, but. Hey, we're here, that was quick, it was literally like 10 minutes. Yay. Look at this. This is a lot to walk. Are we shocked? Listen, this is all I'm here for. I'm here to walk. There's a McDonald's. I still have to try the McDonald's here. But I love, okay, one thing about me, I love these flowers. Don't know what they're called, but they're my favorite flowers. I needed a snack. So I'm going to a turtle show at three. And the crocodiles are that way. So I'm gonna do that and then come back to the turtles. And then at four, there's a dolphin show. So. Okay, I'm off to dinner. I'm actually starting early because 
because I have to pack my suitcase and stuff because I'm going to my other location, which I'm kind of sad about because I love this Airbnb. It's so cute and it's so me. And I feel like it finally started kind of feeling like home. I'm a little sad, I'm a little sad baby. But it's fine. I'm looking forward to the other one. The other apartment is supposed to be like more zen. Like it has like Buddha heads and stuff. I'm pretty sure that's like disrespectful but yeah i'm gonna head there tomorrow morning i'm gonna go try to eat downstairs because it's usually very busy so hopefully i can get a table if not plenty of other places to eat also i'm really hoping that i'm doing a good job vlogging even when i'm outside i've 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 started editing some of my vlog i'm sure there's gonna be maybe two or three parts but i'm just scared that i'm not getting enough content but my main concern had always been to just enjoy myself and whatever content i got is what you're gonna get it also it's a hard being by myself but um like, you know i don't have anybody recording for me so it's a little hard but I'm in my next Airbnb. Yeah. I'm waiting outside. I'm like a little too early, but I'm gonna be staying probably in one of those. I'm actually right next to a dumpster, so. I'm just too early. I'm an idiot. Oh, I wanted to get here on the earlier side so that, I don't know. I just have anxiety when it comes to trying new places. So I just wanna make sure I'm in the right area. I always want to get there before anyone else. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of just chilling here. There's this nice little... I'm just going to sit right here. I also have to go to the bathroom so bad. Like, I have to pee really bad. But this is a pretty little, pretty street. Hello, lovers. New day, new Airbnb. This one wasn't as bad because I'm actually just on the first floor. So it was only two flights of stairs. It wasn't that bad. I'm definitely getting a little hungry, so I'll probably get some lunch in a bit. It's like almost 12. Tomorrow I'm going to Sevilla. So I need to pack for that. I'm only bringing my backpack because there's no way that I'm bringing any suitcases anywhere else. I guess I'll show you around a little bit. This is like a little patio courtyard thing. Ooh, did someone live down there? Like, she's so adorable, but I think she's gonna scare me at night. <laughs> I love all of these, like this is so cool. Obviously architecture not great because the bathroom isn't here, so <laughs> that's okay. Hey, that's me, bathroom. Cool, it's pretty modern actually. Shower, I'm really hoping this one, yeah, should be okay. The other shower that I had was, like it just kind of kept getting, um, like the water was kind of stuck. Anyway, here is a nice overview pan of the apartment. It's very pretty, I love all this exposed brick and the beams and kitchen is nice and very pretty. You can see here the view and I have, oh, I actually have little seats right there. Cute. Oh yeah, I'm definitely taking photos here. I think the area I'm not like too happy with. I don't know. I feel like I already knew that I was gonna feel this way. I love the other apartment so much. It was already starting to feel like home. So I'm trying not to think about it too much. I just love the area that I was at. So, but I guess this is just what it is when you travel. I'm sure there's a lot more to see on this side of town. I'm only 10 minutes away. Probably walk it. It said that it was like a 15 minute walk. 
So I could for sure walk back. I was missing, you know, the first area. I just feel like that one kind of felt like home, if that makes sense. That historic part was so beautiful. You know, I was there for five days, so it kind of makes sense why it's like the comfort zone. But yeah, my whole, you know, I did feel weird there at some point anyway. So I know that that's just gonna keep happening. And that's okay. That is okay. I'm gonna put on some music. I'm gonna try to get situated. And yeah. Okay, bougie Javi might have to come out for a second. I'm a little mad. So I just tried to take a shower and I did. In cold water. I was sitting there trying to figure out like, you know, which way is it? Is it left or right for the heated thing? And I figured it was to the left because a little less water would come out. And it was like less than a degree hotter than or warmer than the ice cold water that was coming out. So I was like, okay, it has to be to the left. I left it to the left for like a smooth five minutes, nothing. So I was like, okay, let me just do the other side. Do the other side, super cold. So I turn it back to the left and then I messaged the Airbnb guy. I'm pissed off because he's not even like apologetic. He was like, well, only thing I can do is go check it out tomorrow. I'm not even gonna be here tomorrow. <sighs> So I'm like, okay, um, what can we do about this? I need to shower, like I've been out all day. He just said he'll just come take a look at it tomorrow. And I was like, okay, well I'm gone until the 28th. So basically you have until the 28th to figure it out. So let's hope it fucking works. He was like, is the, like the thing, what we would call a califon in Chile, which is kind of like the thing that makes it hot water. Um, it's in the bathroom and I took a picture of it and it's on. So he was like, well, it should work, dot, dot, dot. I'm like, it clearly doesn't. Like you think I would be messaging you at like 10 PM if this shit was working. And so I told him that I was gonna be gone tomorrow and the next day, so like, it has to work by the time I'm back. Otherwise, like, I am not showering no cold water. And you're getting a terrible review for not even saying you're sorry. He didn't even apologize. He didn't, like, care. He was just like, okay, don't worry about it. Like, he literally said, no te preocupes. What do you mean, no te preocupes? Anyways, I'm downloading Globo, which is kind of like the Uber Eats of Spain. Because I'm honestly fucking starving. And I haven't had dinner. And I bought empanadas, but there's no microwave. And I couldn't figure out how to work the stove. It's gonna be takeout night over here. This is like a very, like there's not a real kitchen, like not even a kitchenette. So there's like a mini fridge and that's about it. So yeah, we gonna have to make do. I want something like that I know I'm gonna like. So I've look you've been meaning to try McDonald's. Should I just try that? I need to pack my backpack, so. I'm trying to get myself together, but I need to call my mother first. I'm only going to bring these, a battery charger, and wrong thing, this uh, SD card thing for my phone. I feel like I need to figure out like a good outfit that I can like pack really good in my backpack. I bought... <laughs> Okay, well, there was kind of like a dollar store, I guess you could call it, but it was also a souvenir shop, and it was so cool. I went in there for one thing and one thing only. First and foremost, Fanta. Second, look how pretty. I really wanted, obviously, I already got a new tote bag, but this one says Valencia. It's so cute. I went in this souvenir store, for a souvenir, obviously. And then it was actually like a dollar store. So I really needed little containers for my skincare that I'm gonna bring, cause I know that Europe is a bit strict. It's a bit strict. So I got, look at these little tiny containers. So I'm gonna put, because I'm only gone for two days, I'm not gonna bring my whole skincare regime. Uh, Like moisturizer, SPF and uh my cleanser in here look at this pretty uh bracelet and you can double it up and give it to the next person <laughs> i'm just kidding double it up um it could probably also be a choker but me and my big ass head so no um vesto pazzo vesto pazzo cute i also got a ring it's a regular silver ring actually it's aluminum 
I just needed a nice cute one. Honestly, I might go back. This was literally 10, this is 10 euros. But I love the pouches, they're really good material. Sturdy, it's like canvas bags. So I bought two lighters, period. So I'm probably gonna give these as souvenirs as well because who doesn't want a lighter? I'm gonna bring my book, shout out Fox. She read this and I am about a third way in there. I literally, dude, look at this. Look how cute. And it says Valencia. I got Sabor España. And I got different turron. I got turron duro de bani. I got turron de pistacho for my mom. And then the soft one that I think I'm gonna eat. Well, while I do this, since now I'm fucking hyper fixated on having my nails not be sharp, uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about. I don't know, the, I guess like the, that constant feeling of insecurity, but not not in the way that you think. It's like the just like the traveling aspect of it that I'm still understanding and navigating is like such a weird space, honestly, because it's my first time. I already know that that's expected, that I am going to feel lonely. And, and I know that as I travel, that... That's like never gonna go away. That's like the whole part of traveling. You are by yourself, you know? I feel like it's definitely not, not like as hard as it would be if maybe I didn't already have experience living by myself and like, you know, having those types of experiences first. I feel like it would be a lot harder if I was going from like living with people, living with my mom, like, all my life or whatever to just being by yourself all of a sudden so if you are looking to you know travel and stuff i would suggest starting there if anything if you can and if you're able to if not obviously there's literally nothing wrong with just jumping into it now also i'm older ha! i'm gonna be 28 in a few days in three two days oh my god i'm gonna be 28 in two days what I feel like because I have those years under my belt, it kind of helps me as well to kind of self-soothe and like not freak out the way that I thought that I would, I guess. I need to call my mother. So let's do that. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. I made it. I'm here. We're in this like little lounge area, getting a muffin. Uh, I think I think my flight starts boarding in like 30 minutes. So I'm just chilling here for now. I'm so tired, and I wanted to I wanted to vlog when I was trying to get a taxi earlier. It's still so dark out. I do feel really cool that I just did all that by myself. I just want to share that. I don't know if you can see me or not, but I'm here. It's 11. And I'm just waiting to go into my Airbnb. He's just going to give me the keys though because... It's not clean <laughs> yet, um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go drop my stuff off. He's actually been so much nicer than the other host, so I'm I'm excited to relax. I honestly really need a nap, so I'm pushing through. I feel like because I'm so tired, I'm not admiring how beautiful this is, but it is so so nice. Aquí te explico. Aquí te explico. Pues cosas sobre la ciudad, sobre mi ciudad. Estamos aquí, apartamento, toda esta zona es la zona eh, Santa Cruz, la avenida que comienza en el ayuntamiento y termina en el parque de Mayolisa, cruzando mm -hmm. la avenida, el Arenal, el barrio del Arenal, mm -hmm. con la plaza de toros, muy buen ambiente, muchos bares, al final, puente de Triana, 
cruza el río, eso lo tienes que hacer, Javi, me lo tienes que prometer, porque ahí mi barrio, ahí nací yo, Ay, y eso ¿sí? es lo mejor del sitio. Ah, ya. perfecto. En Triana, en Triana. En Triana. Bueno, Triana. pues sí, la, y, la, y la feria, ves, está en la avenida, y al final del tramo resto de la avenida hay un puente, cruzas el puente y ya coges para la izquierda, verás cómo va toda la gente. 